Welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. Well, you know that. So why did I keep saying this is Tom's Radio Room Show? Anyway, what I was doing this morning is I was playing around with a different band because the shortwave band is right now is in the toilet, and I can't receive anything. So I said, I, thank you very much. I'm going to the truck. Okay. Set up on this. I believe if I knock off the jump phase, I can isolate this air brake. That was going on. Okay, <laughs> we'll get off that frequency. <laughs> Finally, there I got some activity on that frequency. But what this is, is this is... Uh, a spectrum of the VHF band, and it's an area where you typically have small businesses using their radios for communications. Now, granted, a lot of businesses have gone to using cell phones, but they're, you know, thanks for the update, good grief. But um, where was I? Oh, gosh. Um, but there's, there's still a lot using radios, VHF radios. And so there's a lot of activity, like especially in the wintertime when you got, you know, trucking services going out to help people and clearing the roads and stuff like that. So a lot of these, a lot of those businesses are using radios in this band, uh, about 151 megahertz to 157 megahertz. Also, that includes the the marine communications band. So. When I was doing this, I found myself keep jumping back and forth every time a little conversation came up, back and forth, back and forth. Because to my knowledge, this program, STR Uno, doesn't have scanning capability, I think. It's probably buried here, and I haven't found it. If so, please tell me. Anyway, my setup is I'm using SDR Uno software. I'm using my SDR Play SDR, and I'm using a discone antenna that's on my roof on the second story. So I had this dilemma where, you know, here's a signal jumping up here, here's one here, you know, they're all over the place. And I'm like, I missed it because I'd go over here, and by the time I got over there and got everything lined up at the right frequency, they'd stop talking. Well, one of the features this has is that recording feature that I talked about. And since, thanks to the nice other YouTube gentleman who did a great demonstration of it, I know how to use it now, I think. So I'm going to use that to capture what's going on and then play it back later in with the recorded file, similar to your recorder on your TV to record football games and movies and stuff like that, you can move around. So you can go back, you can jump forward, whatever. So what I should be able to do is I should be able to jump back in time and capture that signal. And if I miss it again, I'll go back a little further or whatever. It's like here's, these, these guys are really busy this morning. I guess they woke up. Um, so that should work. And it should do exactly what I want. So we're going to try that right now. I've tried it about 10 times already this morning. And I've run into some kind of problems like I forgot how to do something. Or my uh, screen capture program crashed because I didn't have enough memory. So what you, what you do in SDR Uno, you can set this bandwidth that it displays. And if you have a real fast computer, it'll display up to... 10 megahertz of bandwidth up here. Now, my computer that I'm using right now, it's it's kind of medium power, but I'm also using the screen capture software, so that's using up power, CPU power. So I got to be careful not to have this too wide, and that's what was happening before. I had it too wide, and it crashed because it ran out of CPU. So I've got it tuned down here to 5 megahertz, which is plenty to watch that band, which I'm watching about uh, 51.4 to uh, 51.6 something. So that's what I'm watching. And as you can see, there's a bunch of transmissions going. There's one way over here going on. So I can turn on record 
with this button right here, and it's now recording everything. Everything that's on the screen, it's recording. And so when you play it back, it's just like using the radio originally, except you now have control. So here it is recording. It shows you the file size. The file sizes are humongous. So you have to have, make sure you got plenty of storage space. I mean, I'm talking about, you know, gigabytes. See, here's it's used up already. It's used up a half a gigabyte, and it's only recorded for like 10 or 20 seconds. So you got to have a huge storage capacity. That's where those big terabyte drives would come in handy. So I'm going to record for just one gigabyte full, which is probably going to be less than a couple of minutes. And then I'll hit stop okay we're almost there so we're just gonna say stop so now it's stop recording all the time it's recording you can do all the things in the program you can change the frequencies and select a memory each whatever you just you run the program normally okay I stopped it program is still you know running and now what I want to do and this is a secret I learned from the other gentleman is how to play back because if you go to your file manager, you'll see a WAV file, and you think, okay, I'll just click on that. No, no, no. You've got to play it back within this program because it is, has captured everything on this screen. So first you've got to stop the SDR. So the SDR now, I'm not receiving information from the SDR at this moment. Then you have to go to this OPT box and select your input. And it was the SDR play. I want to select a WAV file. The WAV file, which is actually more than just audio, that it saved. So I'll select WAV file. And then I'll go down and find the recording. So I'm going to look for, under my documents, I'm going to look for a file named SDR something. So uh, we're going to look for the latest one which was at not 12 that was last month so it'll be one and it's the fourth and this is i think the latest one this is at 12 24 zulu time yep that's what it probably was so i'll select that open now i'm going to Instead of listening to the SDR, I'm going to listen to that file that was recording of the SDR activity. And you can see now it shows the file and where you are in the file. So I can hit play. And this is, uh, this is new to me, so bear with me. I'm going to hit play. So now it's now playing that file. Now, wait a minute. Let's see. Well, let's, well, stop. Whoa, stop, stop, stop. I had, when I recorded this file, let's see if this works, I had the squelch turned way up because there's a lot of noise. Let me see if I can turn it down. So let me turn it way down. Turn it down there. And now I'll start play again. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I, I, I have complete control, just like I was controlling the SDR, but I'm controlling the SDR recording so to speak and it's going pretty fast so let's stop so you can see that's a pretty darn small file as far as time is concerned it's a huge uh disk file okay so let's go now we got to stop here's a signal over here that we just missed so let's select that frequency see if i can click on it here and then we'll go back let me Turn the squelch back up. I don't want to hear all that noise. And we'll go back. So we need to go back because I missed it. So we'll use this to go back to a different time. We'll hit play. And there it is again. We missed it again. Uh, squelch is too high, I guess. So we'll... we'll uh, oh, we got mute on. Oh, boy. What a dummy. Let's put the squelch up there. There, it's squelched. And then we'll... Take mute off, and then we'll stop it, and then we'll go back, and we'll play it again. This is just like 
your digital recorder uh, on your on your uh, cable box. You're watching a football game. You miss a play. You can, if you record it, you can go back, play it again, play as many times you want to. This is the same thing. So let's hit play. There it is. Okay, there there was, I'm pointing with my finger, what a dummy. So right there, I played back that little segment there. Wasn't much there. There it is again. Looks like it's just data. Um, let me stop. So now, you know, I can go anywhere on the spectrum here where I see a signal and I can play it back. Now, here's a strong signal. So let me select that. Let me hit play again. And, okay, it's it's started over. It started the, the, the it started to play back over because it's so small. <laughs> That's the thing. You need a lot of memory storage on your hard drive for these files. I guess I missed, so I guess it was at, at the very beginning. Now let me go back. Okay, we'll stop. Or we'll go right back to the very beginning. I'll hit this button here. And yeah, we see if that signal comes up. I missed it again. Okay, where is it? There was a huge, huge spike there of audio or signal. Where was it? We'll let this play to the end of the file and see if it comes up. I thought it was at the beginning. Maybe it wasn't. Okay, where are you? Maybe it was at the very end. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I there it is. There it was. Okay. So it was right at the end of the file. And it was apparently data too, so it wasn't that exciting. So let's go back, play it again, and let's look for some other signal. Something that's probably voice. <laughs> There's a weak signal. It's probably voice. I don't know what this monster in is, but it's there all the time. <laughs> Okay, there was something right there. Let's stop. And we'll click over on that frequency. And then we'll go back a little bit. And then we'll play. See if I got, got it on frequency. I guess, did I go back too far? Again. Where you at? School system. Down, that is uh, one of the school system networks because they were talking about picking up kids. And I've listened to them before. Uh, so you see, this works fabulous. <laughs> it's a little, you got to get used to it, how to control it. Um, I don't think there's any way, I don't know what this button here is. I think that is to. Replay it over and over again, I think. that That's what that is. Let's just try it. Okay, it's on now. So I'm going to play, and I'm just going to see what it does, see if it plays it over and over again. So that would be easier with this small segment to just let it play over and over again, and then it would be easier to listen to what I heard. Yep, that's what it's doing. So now it will play through this small file, which is just a couple of seconds. Alpha, there and there's that transmission again. So you can do a lot of things with this record function in SDR Ono. And I hope I've shown you how to use it and a example of how to use it. Again, right now, I'm listening to this band here because there's not much on shortwave. Um, yeah, what the heck? Give it a try. If not, if you just got a plain scanner or you're using some other um, software that doesn't have record maybe, you can still listen to this band. Pick a frequency and listen to it. See what's going on. Um, I think the schools 
were closed today. I'm not positive. You know, in cold weather, I think they were closed today. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. That tells me that I'm doing shows that you're interested in and I'm not wasting your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.